Welcome to the Vision Board Practice for Heart-Centered Entrepreneurs. I'm Annette Copeland, and I'll be your host for this brief explanation of why I think everyone, especially entrepreneurs, need a vision board that they can use to create, imagine, manifest, and achieve their dreams and goals over the next six months, year, five years, whatever it is that you're searching for. Who am I? I'm a mom. I'm a grandma. I'm an entrepreneur since the day that I was born. I'm a naturopathic doctor that I did when I was 45 years old. So that's evidence that it's never too late to start following your dreams. I believe in holistic medicine, which includes root cause issues, whether that be the body, the mind, the spirit. Is there something inside of you that needs a little tweak? your mindset maybe, or maybe you're dealing with some trauma that's dangling, or maybe you just were handed a handful of bad habits that you think are normal that need to be changed so that you can feel better, like feel amazing in the skin you're in. I'm also a digital nomad. I believe that being able to work from anywhere is my favorite lifestyle. That may not be yours, but it is mine. I love writing books. I love coaching. I've been super successful and I've lost everything and started over. I've run the whole gamut. I'm a visionary, love coaching people, and I own multiple businesses. I've actually earned lots of money doing different things and I've even lost it and then had to start over. So I know I mentioned that once, but I think it's important to say that failing doesn't necessarily mean that you lost everything. Failing is happening when you quit, when you quit trying. So fail forward. I love helping others, educating others, creating, traveling. There's that freedom piece again, raising awareness about emotional intelligence and how to become a better human. I love supporting and guiding people encouraging them and becoming a better me. The reason I tell you this is because it's going to come into play on the next slide for you. Why do a vision board? A vision board is designed to empower you to create, take ownership like of your life direction, give you the power and the desire and the passion to create. What lights you up? What are you passionate about? Do you know what your core values are? What are you willing to fight for? Those are the things that are important to you. So for a simple example, just to start, let's do a simple example for a piece to a vision board that I think everyone can relate to. Your dream home. Don't be afraid to envision your dreams. Think big, really big. Unleash your creativity Choose color palettes and furniture and wallpapers and textures. How do things feel? What do they look like? This is something that you're going to use to spark the desire to be in that home, in that place that you've designed for you. And you can make one vision board with all of the things. Or you can have a couple of different vision boards, like one for your lifestyle and one for your money goals or whatever. Totally up to you. Then here's just a simple example of what a dream board might look like just for the house part of it. So I want to really get in deep with some of these things. So number one, get specific. Look at the colors, the tones, the smells the textures. Like, what do you want? What do you want your experience to be in your dream home? It's not just a place to sleep. It's where you live. Imagine being there. How does it feel to be in your space? Again, what does it smell like? Is it warm or cool? Is there a breeze? Can you hear something? Can you hear birds? Can you hear the wind? Can you hear 
the waves crashing? What can you hear? A babbling brook. Can you hear dogs barking? Like, what is it that you can hear? Really get in there and use your five senses to create an image and use those things to make your vision board real. Make it real to you. Create the feelings, imagine the emotions, put some gratitude and joy and excitement and success all in that vision board and use things that give you, like you can put words on there. You can put the word joy. You can put the word smell. You can put ocean. You can put whatever. Use images or words or whatever it is that gets you the feelings that you'd like to experience. Sorry about that. Then, like I said, feel the feelings. Get in deep with your vision. Get in there and think about how it will feel. Those five senses will help you get to the emotional side of this. Like sit down and take five minutes and just really think about all of those senses, your five senses, and really lock them in around the images that you've chosen to put on your vision board. And then I get this question all the time. What if things, things don't get you excited? Items like cars and houses and things. Practice feeling how you want to feel. Take pictures doing things you love. If you want to hike to the top of Mount Kilimanjaro, go find a picture of Kilimanjaro and take a picture of yourself with a walking stick and superimpose it over top of that. You can use Canva. There's lots of apps that you can use to do that. Create a picture with you in it. Take a picture of your dream car. It would be best if you were actually sitting in it, but if you don't have the ability to do that, take a little app and cut your face out and stick it in the driver's seat of that car. Lock in on the excitement and the emotions that are connected to achieving that goal or that dream. If you want to have a different house, go to open houses. Drive up and down the streets that you want to live on. If you really, really want to live in a certain neighborhood and it's close enough to where you live, drive through there every time you get the opportunity. Look at what other people are doing, where they park their cars. Do they have a sprinkler system? Like what is going on in that neighborhood? Is there a park where your kids can play nearby? Like what are the things that are in the place that you want to be? Go experience them yourself. Go sit on the park bench in the park in that neighborhood that you want to live in. Go get in proximity with the things and the people that match the vibe that you want. And take those images, take those feelings and slap them on a vision board. And you can do it digitally or paper. You can cut out magazine pictures. It's so easy now to just find pictures on the internet. You can go to Pexels, P-E-X-E-L-S dot com download free images, slap them on there. You can go to the internet, like do whatever. And then if you're having some trouble being creative, go find some hashtags that are in line with your core values. Do you want to be a digital nomad? Go look up some hashtags that have to do with that particular topic and see what other people are talking about. Maybe use some ideas from them. Expand your own vision by seeing what possibilities are out there. Maybe you haven't even thought of something yet that you'd like to do. Go experience some things and take a look at what other people are doing, not to keep up with the Joneses or be in competition with them, but to trigger your hunger, to trigger your passion, to trigger your creativity and your inspiration so that you can begin to create a life worth doing, a life you want to be, a life you're proud to be a part of. Don't worry about failing. Just keep going. Keep practicing. Look at that vision board every single day and get in touch with the feelings, the gratitude, the joy, the excitement. How proud would you be if you achieved that? Like, Get in touch with those feelings. And then here's a simple example. This is the vision board that I created towards the end of 2022. And I wanted to experience other things. I, I want to experience more beaches. I would love to stay in a house like this on the water. I'm sure that's in California because that's the kind of beach you see there. 
I would love to stay somewhere like that. I want to get my face back to this skinny version of me. Oh, that would be great. I have wanderlust. I love to travel. Here's another travel image, like all of the places I'd love to go. Here's some feelings that I'd love to have. I want to speak in front of people. I want to be a part of a community. Look at this. This is me in a helicopter. How cool is that? I want to have better relationships and better friendships. And I love cars with the top down. I'm passionate about Camaros. I actually owned a 69 Camaro for a while and then decided that I didn't want an older car. Oh, maybe I need a newer car. But right now I have a Jeep where I can take the top off. And I love riding around in the Jeep with the top down and the wind blowing through my hair. And I do have a 60 pound dog now. So a Jeep is a little more in line with who I am right now. So I probably need to update this and put my Jeep on there instead. And then, like I said, I have these feelings that I want to enjoy and I have my values. The things that I love to do are listed here. So that's what you do. Make dreams happen. Create the vision. Feel the emotions. Put yourself in proximity to the things that you would like to have in your life and experience them. Really get in touch with them. Figure out the feelings that you want to have in relation to them and then put them on a dream board and then don't put it in the closet. Put it somewhere like on the refrigerator where you're going to see it every single day and make it part of your daily habits, part of your daily method of operation to take time to look at that vision board and imagine yourself in those places. And I promise you that you will start finding that you're checking those items off little by little. You will, a year from now, be able to check some things off your vision board. And then you can replace them with something new. It doesn't have to be permanent. It can be an ever-evolving thing. As you learn better, as you find things you like more, maybe your tastes are changing a little bit as you become more of who you are, feel free to adjust that vision board and make it about who you are becoming, who you want to become, and most of all, about how you want to feel. How do you want to feel? And I think you'll find that you create a vision board that means more to you than any vision board you've ever created if you follow these steps. So that's the end of this presentation. And I just wanted to let you know, you can find me at AnnetteCopeland.com. You can follow me on Instagram as Ask Dr. Annette. You can also find me on Facebook under that, but I have two profiles. So you have to be careful which one you pick. The easiest way is to go to my website and click on my Facebook link. And then I have a free goal setting workshop on my website that you can go do, which will help you with getting better at a vision board because you're going to create some goals that work better for you and some daily habits that help get you in a position to achieve those goals. So I think the SMART Goals Workshop works really well with this vision board idea. So do the two things in synchronicity with each other, and I think you will find that you actually really enjoy doing this exercise. So thank you for watching. Thanks for being a part of my community. And I hope to see you on a live sometime in the near future.